Hi guys, thanks for checking back in for this episode of Says the Vet. This one was on request. Does bicarb actually do anything for bloat or is this an old wives tale? Before I go ahead and answer, don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up if you're appreciating the episodes. Let me know you're there. Right, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda. No, it's not an old wives tale. It is useful, but it's certainly not the be all and end all for treatment. And it should only be considered as an adjunct to treatment for bloat. It is a supportive therapy. It does not treat the underlying cause. The way bicarb works is by changing the acidity of the stomach. It acts as a buffer to counteract the stomach acid. Remember lambs, calves and goat kids have four stomach chambers. The two most important to know about are the abomasum, which is where the milk should be going, and the rumen, which is a big fermentation chamber where the hard food, grass and anything solid goes. If you add bicarb to a bottle of water or feed it in an electrolyte mix that they drink from a bottle, it should go into the abomasum, which is what we think of as the true stomach. It's the one that most resembles ours. It's where stomach acid is produced where milk clots and digests before heading down into the intestines. So why would we want to alter the pH? Well, there are a number of contributing factors to the development of abomasal bloat in a young animal. To check those out and understand how to prevent bloat, watch this episode here. When these factors are in play and the stars align, we get a bacterial infection of sorts in the stomach Infection probably isn't quite the right term because it's usually more of an overgrowth. It's bacteria that, that normally live there in small numbers anyway. So it can be thought of as more of a, of a gut flora upset. But nevertheless, a nasty population of bacteria are living in the stomach with different effects. Some produce gas really quickly by eating the lactose. Some of the bacteria stop the stomach from emptying properly. So gas builds up. And some of these bacteria, and this is the part that applies to giving bicarb, some of these bacteria cause inflammation of the stomach lining and gut, so much so that we get ulcers forming in the stomach lining. When the stomach lining is inflamed, the mucus layer that normally lines the stomach to protect it from stomach acid is disrupted. So a little ulcer forms. Once an ulcer forms, it's even more vulnerable to the stomach acid. So these ulcers get deeper and deeper until they burst through the wall of the stomach, releasing stomach contents into the abdomen and killing the animal through shock. It's not uncommon for me to open up a lamb or goat kid that's passed away from bloat and find full thickness ulcers in the stomach or in specific areas of the gut that have perforated, eating right through the full thickness of the gut lining. So when we give bicarbonate or baking soda, AKA, the bicarb is the opposite of acid. It's a buffer to acid, meaning it helps to neutralize it. So giving baking soda when your animal has bloat is a good thing. It will protect the stomach from further ulceration. It does not, however, treat the underlying bacterial infection. And there is no reason to my mind why it would be able to relieve the gas as such. It does just protect the stomach lining and offer relief for any reflux while you deal with the underlying cause. Or if you're very lucky and it's still a very early bloat, it may give you enough time for the bloat episode to pass. But bloat kills very quickly and commonly, so don't wait around for it to pass. Statistics suggest about a 90% death rate with abomasal bloat. So if you have a lamb or a goat kid that's bloated up really quickly after a big milk feed, dissolve as much baking soda as you can in 10 ml of water and dose them down the mouth then get them to the vet as soon as possible. There are follow-up measures you should take after leaving the vet as well. So I highly recommend you check out the episode on prevention of abomasal bloat that I linked earlier in the episode. Okay guys, I hope that helps. I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.